Well, welcome to the ProBrick exclusive YouTube channel with Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, share, comment. Have you ever been in a situation where you've hoped? The Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. Where you've just hoped. Whatever the problem was or is or could be would have been dealt with and put out of the way. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Now that feeling of sickness could be depression, uh, oppression, exhaustion, tiredness. These are all the things that can happen to you when you're in a relationship and it just doesn't seem to want to go the way that it needs to. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. You're trying to find answers. You're trying to think of ways in which you can fix a situation. Hoping that there's a way. But the thing's blocked. Now think of it's easy to say third party. Third party intrusions, third party influential blockages and do you really need to contend with that? Do you really need to be in the spiritual presence where people are opposing you and can't work out who you are or why. It might be discomfort to them. You might be a mirror for them they have they look into when they look at you they possibly get convicted I don't know there's always someone better there's always someone smarter fitter younger older and wiser there's always that But that doesn't take away the fact that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Tolerance. We think of things like tolerance and patience and perseverance and hoping that things will clear up. It's hard to deal with people that are not going to be cooperative, that you've watched disintegrate, even though you've hoped, you've hoped and you've hoped, you've wished. hope just defers. And things get sick.
when you mix attitudes and bad attitudes and ill attitudes and ill outlooks and all this stuff coming at you, then you've got, and that's from third party people, people that are on the outskirts, not the person that you're with. They're just getting smashed in between and you're trying to work in with them and, and be good. And everybody's hoping that something will change, but it's not going to change. And there's nothing you can do about it. And they say that there is, but there's not. You can't ch change a person's outlook on life. Sometimes it's better just to move out of the way, get out of the way, and just let them sort themselves out. You're not the answer to somebody else's attitude towards you. There's just some people that just are not going to like you. In fact, there's probably a lot of people that just aren't going to like you. They're just not. And don't lose sleep over that. Just recognize that and go, I, it's not a healthy place for me to be. But what makes that hard is when you're in a relationship with somebody out of that tribe that does like you, You've got the flying monkeys in the background doing everything they can covertly to oppress it, to oppress the relationship. You watch the person that you live trying and trying to find a way in a way in which it's peaceful for everyone but the oppression gets thicker and the oppression gets stronger and the trouble gets bigger and the trouble gets stronger. You your heart you start to get sick in your mind. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. You start to feel sick. You start to run down. You start to get exhausted and you're hoping. Then you see this psychopathy rubbing off on the person that you're with. And you see them wearing. They're wearing. It's just wearing at them but they're trying. They're turning up. They're trying. And then then the person in the middle, the person, your partner, because of these people in the background, starts to medicate more. Trying to find a way that they can deal with it without confronting the issue. I don't think many of these people will confront the issue because for a lot of them, they're, they're too close to their children to want to cause an upset. And a lot of these children Hope deferred makes the heart sick. You don't want sadness. You're watching your partner trying to sort this shit out and they're in the middle of it all and they're meeting the sandwich and far out. It sucks. And everything's just wearing at you. It's wearing at you. It's narcissistic oppression. Build on the insecurities and whatever else, psychological, psychopath type, Machiavellian behaviours of the people that just don't want to see anyone flourish. It's the only way I can say it. Doesn't matter how good you are or how bad you are or what's going on or anything like that, they don't. They don't want to see you flourish. They don't want to see the mother flourish. 
It's all about them. They don't invite you to their family. You can't go to the family turnouts because this one individual is just not going to have it. Then you don't want to go because why would you? It's dragged on for so long that it's just a joke. And then you break up and it's like you never cared. And... But you did. And it's easier for the person that you're with to just go back to their default. You knew that was going to happen anyway. You knew you, when you meet someone, you weigh up what the options are going to be if things get hard. You know it's going to happen. See, hope deferred making the heart sick makes it harder for you to tolerate, makes it harder for you to hang on. And it's really sad when you're with someone and you're watching them trying to make it work and they're turning up and you're watching them disintegrate bit by bit. And you're trying to get closer and they're trying to get closer and it's... The deferral of the resolve is just making everyone sick. And these monkeys in the background, flying monkeys, just keep working it, keep working it, only covertly, blatantly, but covertly, because you're not included. You're just not included into the... You're just not brought in close. You're just an outsider. And knowing that you're an outsider, you know that. You don't need anyone to tell you. But just the waste. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. What's the answer to this? Somebody has to stand up. You can't stand up. It's not your place to stand up to other people's children. Don't do that. Adult children. When you've tolerated enough and you're starting to feel sick, you got to let it go. Let them go. Are you defeated? No. Are you not in love? No. Still in love. Are you medicated and on drugs? I hope not. You should just be watching and hoping and waiting. Hoping. When somebody defers your hope enough, you'll get sick. You'll get sick of it. And it means they don't, it doesn't matter to them whether you're sick or not. It doesn't matter. And then you ask yourself, well, what are they here for? I used to wonder, what is this person trying to prove? And who's she trying to prove it to? I knew she was a good person. She knew I was a good person. When people have got split values and they're not standing really standing for the relationship so that everything's balanced, if they're letting the weak person dictate behind the scenes the terms, it's over. You're being disrespected. And you can, they can disguise all this and that with their, you know, by action. No. Outward actions do not always hide underlying 
obvious problems. So if you're in a situation where your hope has been deferred to the point, hope for the resolve has been deferred for the point, you might be in a relationship with a drinker and you've said please, or some kind of substance taking, you've said please present yourself to me in a way that's going to be attractive. And they just don't care anymore. It's time to heal, isn't it? How do you do that? You walk away. You just gotta walk away. It's not to punish the other person, it's to heal yourself. The only good thing that could come out of it for the other person is to realise that if there's certain things that you don't do in a relationship, you don't have it. It's funny how people start and they'll do anything and they end and they'll do nothing. Nothing to fix things. And you have to accept that. You have to say, look, it's time for me now to not feel sick any longer, I've got to be able to take some losses here and begin to heal. This is Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison on the Pro Brick Exclusive YouTube channel. Bye for now.